Well, the Kenya International Industrial Expo is currently taking place here at the Oshwal Center in Parklands. As you can see behind me, we have a lot of exhibitors who have come just to showcase some of the machinery that they are using to improve the different sectors that they are in. Well, just to give you a lowdown, most of the exhibitors here are from the Chinese origin or from the Chinese country. Most of them coming here to showcase some of the products, some of the machinery, some of the equipments that they have used over time that have enabled them to get to the point they are. Well, China right now is a super power country in terms of production of food, production of industries, manufacturing, as you can uh, term it as a whole, and they are here to just showcase some of the things. Some of, among the key uh, equipments or tools that are being highlighted here are the equipments concerning agriculture. Agriculture is one of the sectors that Kenya has termed as the most uh, lagging behind sector in our economy. Agriculture once was named as the backbone of our uh, economy, but still to date it hasn't been able to get to the point that it has been predicted to, to get to with mostly people complaining of lack of opportunities or employment opportunities with most of the youth looking at it as a sector that they uh, mostly considered for the rural people or most people are trying to come into the urban areas. Well, the equipments that the Chinese people are showcasing are equipments that they have been able to use uh, all with time as I mentioned earlier and uh, just to give you a history of uh, the food security or agricultural uh, economy or sector in Chinese is that the Chinese have been able to achieve much uh, considering that they came from a period in the 1900s where they were not able to uh, harness as much they had a big large population they had uh, they didn't have enough food to feed them with so they came up with ways of ensuring that they harness as much as possible from the land that they had and that's why they give uh, their farmers incentives in terms of uh, buying of equipment in terms of manufacturing in terms of farming and also farm products and that and they have been over time been able to produce a Across uh, 20 percent, and they have been able to feed, uh, pardon me, ra or rather, they have been able to feed the, uh, close to 20 percent of the world's population with their number that they have, their population that they have in their country, uh, gaining uh, from the immense security, called the immense food security. Uh, details, the mass food security programs that they have been uh, awarded. Well, Kenya is one of the countries that has named food security as one of the key sectors that needs to be addressed. The government currently has named food security as one of the big four agendas that it will be paying close attention to, but still. Uh, nothing or maybe people argue that the agricultural sector yes it has been named among the uh, food security has been named among the big four yet is still not getting as much attention from it with most farmers or most people in different areas most of the few who are able to farm most of them not getting as much as they can from it and with mostly uh, others even complaining that the farms they are using are being ex uh, over exploited using the same uh, products or farm uh, plants that they have been farming over the years and they are not able to get as much from it. That can also be blamed through the equipment that uh, farmers in the country are using and uh, that's why this expo might be a solution to some of the things that they, uh, the farmers uh, are experiencing uh, from all over the country, considering also that we are uh, facing a drought situation where we have a uh, drought coming uh, up and uh, about every few years. Well, if we can learn how to harness, how, how to get as much from the little farmlands that we have in our country using the proper equipment and the proper uh, tools that can be used for farming, then some will argue that the uh, food security in our country will be a thing that will be a thing of uh, enabling that will be a, that will enable our population and also help us advance uh, as much. I'll hand it back to studio for now.